So what's happening in our real estate market globally? Well, that's the question of the hour. We are Gara and Linnea with Get Sued, and we are your digital community market leaders. Well, we are always being asked this question by clients. So we want to do some research and provide some answers. First off, let us start off by saying that we are just reporting what analysts and real estate experts across the nation are predicting and stating. According to Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and several other analysts, they are predicting economic growth in the third quarter ranging from 15 to 25%. A graph statistic from Opportunity Insights shows that most businesses ranging from healthcare to transportation all had a decline in consumer spending in the first half of the year, with the exception of groceries, which actually went up. So it's good news that the predictions from the analysts are positive, that we will actually see the progress in the third quarter as compared to the first half of the year. In fact, according to Lisa Shalat, the Chief Investment Officer of Morgan Stanley, she states, and I quote, Indeed, the worst ever GDP reading could be followed by the best ever growth in the third quarter. So we are starting to see a rebound. Small businesses obviously have been impacted due to the stresses and issues that are happened across the globe. But how has this impacted the real estate market nationally? Well, I'm going to show you a few quotes from several economists and real estate analysts regarding the recovery of the housing market. And it's very interesting. It almost reads like a movie trailer here. Realtor.com states, astonishing rebound. Housing Wire says, shockingly strong. Adam Data Solution stated, pulled something of a high wire act in the second quarter. Zillow said, stared the pandemic right in the eye and hasn't blinked. Myers Research stated, has been nothing short of remarkable. So it seems that housing may play a critical role in the recovery. Since about the middle of May, people have been out in full force looking at homes across the nation. According to the National Association of Realtors, the housing market index looks into four things, demand, supply, price, and the time on the market. It combines those together and creates an index, and we saw a rise and a dip down. And now we are above what we were in February of this year. So it shows that we are recovering strongly. So the question is, what's gonna happen with pricing? What should you do? Well. Continue watching and we'll get more into the details on that. Lene and Garv Sood here with Get Sued. Remember to check out all of our informative videos on our YouTube channel or follow us on Instagram or Facebook. We're always here to help and we can't wait to hear from you.